And now, your Midday Arklamas News Update. Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Chelsea Monet with your Midday Arklamas Update. Well, right now, the Union Parish Sheriff's Office is under investigation following an incident with a driver who was shot in the face. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi spoke to a witness at the scene the night of the event who says when she walked out of a convenience store, she saw blood dripping down the suspect's face. This incident happened Saturday on Louisiana Highway 33 and Rosewood Drive in Farmerville. A Union Parish Sheriff deputy was trying to pull over a car in this area conducting a traffic stop. But deputies say as the driver was pulling over into a parking lot of a nearby business, he jumped out of that vehicle and ran away from the scene. Deputies say this caused the vehicle to strike a business. The sheriff's office says a deputy approached the car and found a passenger inside, Jervale Williams of Spearsville. He was arrested, but not before a gunshot was fired. Deputies say he came from the direction of where the driver had run off to. They say that's when the driver, Donnie Hurd of Ruston, comes from hiding and was clearly suffering from an injury to his face. But deputies at the scene say they did not shoot him. However, the Northeast Louisiana Service Task Force has been called in to conduct an investigation. The driver remains in the hospital and charges are pending once he's been released. Williams is facing several charges, including possession of drugs. And one employee also tells NBC10 she saw the suspect eventually walk himself to the ambulance. He was taken to Union General Hospital for treatment and later airlifted to LSU Shreveport. We'll keep you updated with this investigation as more details are revealed. Well, let's talk weather. Right now it's getting a little colder and this means more deer are out on the roads. NBC10 Sydney Lane has ways you can stay safe on the road while deer are on the move. With cooler temperatures, that means that deer are going to be out and roaming. And roads like this behind me are a prime example of where a deer could easily walk out in front of you while you're driving. Louisiana State Police tells us how to steer clear of the deer. During the months of October to January, we see a lot of deer activity on the highways and on, on uh, other public roadways as well. Uh, right now, deer are most active at dusk and at dawn. And these are the times of the days that your vision is most compromised. So make sure you're driving with your headlights on. Trooper Leha goes over some of the things you should look for when driving during dusk or dawn and what you should do if you do see deer. When you're driving, look for the yellow signs that have the deer on it. These signs are posted in high traffic areas for deer. And just remember, deer are pack animals. Rarely do they travel alone. If you see one cross the highway, be looking for other deer. They'll be right behind it. In the event that you should see a deer on the highway, stay in the travel lane, stay in the middle of your travel lane. Uh, don't swerve because that can just make a bad situation worse. It's also important to know what you should do if you do hit a deer. Right, in the event you have a deer crash, uh, call the authorities. If the deer is in the roadway, don't try to move it yourself. Wait for the authorities to get there and they can help you remove the deer from the roadway. Remember to be on the lookout for deer in the next coming months. Reporting in Monroe for your Arklamas News Source, I'm Sydney Lane. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamas, Jared Floyd. Mid 60s for highs today. Many spots could still stop in the low 60s uh, through the afternoon. A light westerly breeze expected through the course of the day, and that starts the warming trend that will really continue through the overnight. Now, it won't be that much warmer, a few degrees into the mid 30s, and that gets most of the area or a good chunk of the area back above freezing through the overnight hours. That said, areas of frost will remain possible, and a light freeze can't be ruled out, especially across southern Arkansas and for folks farther or east that may not have as much of a westerly or southwesterly influence on those winds. A look at the seven day forecast, regardless of where you land for overnight lows Thursday morning, everybody's on a warming trend going into the weekend. Low to mid 80s for highs Friday and Saturday, morning lows back in the 50s and 60s. The rain chances return on the back of a cold front on Tuesday, and that uh, Tuesday cold front will be good news because it brings some much needed rainfall for the area. Could also bring a few thunderstorms. We'll keep an eye on that potential. Regardless, everyone's starting to see that fall like uh, temperature swing warmer than cooler. And uh, obviously that front on Tuesday likely brings some cooler air as well. Those morning lows climbing rapidly as we look for uh, those lows back in the low 60s, pretty much where we're looking for daytime highs to land this afternoon. 